Greetings, citations, people of the internet. I'm Vista Mark 2, and welcome back to East Origin. Last time we left off, we had just <laughs> arrived at Rado's Annex. And now. No, I don't want to do this. And now we have to free the goddesses. So, they're in there. Don't worry, I'll take care of contact Gal. Yeah, just keep your eyes open. We don't have the slightest idea what to expect in there. If you sense that you're in danger, or even a little bit, don't hesitate to fall back. We'll be right here. The aura of malice emanating from the ice is far more than simple magic artifact can do. I can't stress enough just how uninviting it is. You'd be well the precaution in every step you take. Okay. So I think all of them are just gonna, yeah. Repeat the things, and you are the only one I haven't talked to. For Hugo to say this place is dangerous, it has to be really dangerous. Please be very careful, Unica. Alright, let's go. Rado's Annex. Should be fun. <laughs> and by fun, it's probably another boss. <laughs> yeah, it's a big open area. So, what are we fighting now? Yeah, we got locked in. Ah, the entrance. Haha, -ha, seems a poor lost mouse has wandered its way into my little maze. How unfortunate for you. Okay. Oh, hi. You're the woman who took Lady Fina. Is she alright? My, my, such selfless concern for the goddesses when you yourself are in far worse predicament. If you must know, she is safe and quite secure. She's been given the all of enemies that a house this kit as such as I can provide, including an impenetrable magnetical barrier that seals away her powers. Now that I got such a good look at you, you really are a pitiful looking thing. Pitiful? You're a descendant of the one... one of your fabled priests now, and yet you have no innate magical ability whatsoever. A sad excuse for an opponent you are. I'm not certain if I should laugh or cry. You must feel the same at one time or another. I'm sure you've cursed your lot in life. Well... Don't try to deny it. You've no doubt been through as many many hard times in yeast on account of your deficiencies. And you'll most assuredly continue to face such challenges, quite possibly for the rest of your natural life. Yeah, maybe I will. But I took an oath to serve and protect our goddesses, to serve and protect yeast, become that what I believe in. And nothing will ever change that. I will always be loyal to my goddesses and my country. Magic or no magic. So call me pitiful all you want, but I know in my heart I'm doing what's right. Haha, that's quite the rousing speech. I suppose if you're bond beyond temptation, there's simply no reason to continue wasting my breath here. But since you did come all this way, please allow me to show you some his hospitality. It'd be rather boring guarding this lonely island annex. I could use a good show. Oh, hi. You're... creepy. Let's find out just how loudly you can scream. Okay, then. The Summon Spellbinder. Alright. So... <laughs> no innate magical ability yet. She can do this. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just, uh... Yeah. <laughs> you just keep doing that. I'm just gonna ignore it. You beat the living shit out of your thing. <laughs> Alright. What's it doing? What are they doing now? Okay, back to this fire thing again. Well, I can just stand here. It's fine. Oh. Tornadoes again. This is fine. This is not fine. <laughs> oh, shit. Ooh. This is definitely not going fine anymore. This has gotten a little hectic. Avoid those things. Jesus Christ. A little too hectic, to my liking. 
Whoop. Watch out. <laughs> Come on. Definitely hectic, alright. Alright. Let's turn to a bullet hell. <laughs> okay, good. They stopped moving. Thank Christ. Uh, yeah, let's just let's just do everything from a distance. <laughs> Lord, fire! <laughs> My father's sword is has a fucking use, all right now. Really slow takedown of this boss. Oh, we're dead. Okay, then. So... Well, we know- oh. Okay, it starts right here. Good to know. Actually, doesn't this block attacks? Oop. Okay, so we can start with that. I thought maybe that was because it was at half health or something. No, it does that. Thought maybe all this hectic stuff was because we got halfway through and we're like, No, it just does these normally. There we go. <laughs> Got some decent amount of damage off there. Ow. Got some decent amount of damage off on us as well. Avoid that! <laughs> Let's try to avoid... ...losing half our health. Okay, we've lost more than half our health. Alright, so far it's looking... ...decent. at eh, move. Now they're all moving. Just to uh, <laughs> uh, play it safe. Alright. Playing it safe, playing it safe. <laughs> safe is how it's being played. There we go. Good. Alright, so it's over there. And these are doing electrical attacks. Where is it spawning now? I cannot see where I am, but I managed to hit it. I did not take damage. I think. We're about even on health, so. I'd rather not take any more damage. Damn it, it moved. Where'd it go? There it is. Okay. Tornadoes! Let's just do this. Dodge. <laughs> oh. Moving fire? No. Okay, thank Christ. Okay, it moved again. Take that. <laughs> Ow. 41 out. <laughs> yeah. Alright, chipping away at a tell. Yeah, you do that, that's fine. Damn it, it moved. Stop moving. Take your chip damage like a man. Or demon. Oh fuck. <laughs> I had walked right into that. Okay. Avoid literally everything. Ow. I said avoid literally everything, not take a hit from literally everything. Alright, shipping away at its health. Which is good. <laughs> Come on. Ow. Alright. Can't risk it anymore. Gotta be careful. Sure, one more hit and we're dead. Play it safe. As humanly safe as we can possibly play it. Now where's it? There it is. It's low on health. We're low on health. 
electricity and bullets everywhere. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, one more, one more time. Okay, it's literally one hit away from death. Well, we're also literally one hit away from death. Alright, where's it spawning? Take that! Yes! <laughs> uh, that's an epic fight, if I do say so myself. Uh. Achievement unlocked. Teleport to me. Okay, cool. Thank you. Oh, hi. <laughs> no, that can't be. How could you have defeated my beautiful familiar? See, that's one of my the benefits of having no magic ability. I've got a lot of practice with my trusty ballad axe and my dad's sword. I may be a mouse compared to you when it comes to enchantments, but I'm the buffest, meanest mouse you'll ever see. <laughs> Impudent little bitch. You think physical strength alone affords you merit? If you were to put to put in your place, I guess I'll have to fight you myself. That's enough, Zava. Ooh, who's there? Lord Dallas? You are withdrawn from this location. They can have Rado's Annex. Yes, my lord, but do not question my orders. There are preparations to be made. You mean... Yes, and I need your assistance. Come to the tower's summit immediately. Understood, my lord. I'll be there post-haste. Wait! Unicotoba, was it? Next time we finish this. Make sure you're ready for me. <laughs> it's probably Vess that she ran away. Why would they withdraw? That doesn't make any sense. What's going on here? I don't think anything good. This is... We're still... Ow. Okay, that hurts. Good to know. We're still locked in here, so I can't just go and save. Alright then, let's go meet the goddesses. And let's deal with this nonsense. <laughs> Maybe there's another save point here. No, oh, but we got a very mean-ass looking door. Ooh, that doesn't look good at all. Yeah, that looks kind of terrifying, actually. The Devil's Gaze. Even I can tell there's some powerful magic coming off this door. Gives me the creeps. Guess this is where Lady Fina is being held. Hold it! Ah! Thank goodness the seal on the entrance finally broke and we didn't know what we were going to find here. Kadena? I'm sorry if I worried you. It's okay, I'm just glad you're safe. As soon as the barrier popped up behind you, I admit I assumed the worst. But I should have known better. You are Commander Tova's daughter, after all. Daughter, after all. And I, uh, did kind of use the Leela shell to tell Galleon what happened, though. Ah, I definitely would have preferred you didn't do that. I was watching from outside when you turned the tables on that Zava person. You are amazing, Unica. Personally, I'm more surprised than anything. You owe a lot of good fortune, I believe. Lots of good fortune, I believe. Ha ha ha. Heh. Well, we better, well, I'd better shell in another report before anyone starts to panic. I'm sure they'll all welcome the good news. In the meantime, I think you two should get on, get to work on this door. Huh? What's wrong with this door? Well, suffice to say, it's not the sort of door that just opens. You feel it too, Hugo, right? I do. Undoubtedly the source of the malicious energy we sensed outside. The enchantment placed upon it is so powerful that simply being in its presence makes my hair stand on end. Wait, seriously? Ah! Hugo! Hmm, just as I thought. An extremely potent curse has been placed upon this door. Do you recognize it, Kadena? Well, let's see. Ah! Yeah, that's... That's powerful, all right? Frankly, I don't know how you can still be standing after touching it, Hugo. Getting in won't be an easy task with the slightest. Truth be told, I'm not sure we'll be able to open it at all. What? What do you mean? Well, to put it simply, you've got to be a demon if you want to get in there, or at least have some demonic energy in you. It's absolutely, positively will not open for anyone who doesn't exhibit some degree of demonism. 
So you gotta be one of the bad guys, and Lady Fina is in there. Isn't there anything we can do, Kadena? Well, if we had some of the holy water from Solomon's shrine, maybe. Or maybe I'm going about this all wrong. What if instead of breaking the curse, we tricked it into thinking we're demons? Theoretically, if we got our hands on one of the enemy's magic artifacts, we might just stand a chance. What kind of artifact? Something with an equivalent curse on it. If one of us touches the door while wearing a cursed artifact, it might be enough to get the damn thing open. That's preposterous. A curse that strong would kill whoever wore it within moments. Yeah, I know, it's not a perfect solution by any means, but it's an idea, at least. There's gotta be some way to make it work. I really hope we're able to get this door open sometime. It's like, it's times like this that I wish I was a little smarter than, like, Rico. I wonder if even Rico would have any ideas for getting past this door. The face really is of the creeps. I think Lady Fina's is behind. What an awful place to be imprisoned. I swear I've seen this face somewhere before. You have? Actually, come to think of it, it looks kind of familiar to me too. So it's something we both encountered then. The undead sand creatures do bear a resemblance, I suppose. Oh yeah, I guess they do. What's wrong? There's several varieties of sand creatures, and this looks exactly like the larger ones we saw on our way here. There weren't as many of them as the smaller type, but the resemblance is undeniable, and they were quite fierce. I don't remember anything quite like that. Maybe some new demon spawn since I left the main tower. We're at a total impasse here. I have a strange feeling that our enemy is simply trying to keep us busy to buy time as if it were. Hmm. What? That ring you got there, may I see it? Unica showed the evil ring to Kadena. Well, it's definitely demonic in nature, but it's been drained of all its power. If you look closely at it, though, its design does match, seem to match the one on the door. Maybe it's connected in some way. If you could somehow bring the ring back up to full potential, it might just be exactly what we're looking for. The question is, how do we restore it to power? Alright, then. So... Lila Shell? You guys spoke Lila Shell? You'll hear something wrong, Unica. Unica destroyed the evil ring. A cursed ring with no power. I'm afraid curses aren't really my specialty. You should consult Kadena or Hugo. One of those two might know a little more. Sorry to be unhelpful. Okay. Okay, then, so Hugo will not... Does, Hugo doesn't really want to talk about the ring. Kadena doesn't know anything. And one person says to talk to Rico. So... Let's use the crystal, head back, talk to Rico. Crystal's power is sealed. Okay, then. That's just wasting my time. Alright. To Rico. Wait, I can teleport directly to Rado's annex? Okay, then. Oh, yeah, I was like, it was just here. Never mind. I'm sorry. Alright, we're at an impasse. We need to power up the ring. We don't know how to power up the ring. Rico probably knows something. You, Rico? Talk. So, only demons can get to the door, then. Even the blue necklaces couldn't help you with a curse like that. Ooh, why not? Well, it's only powerful enough to neutralize the effects of demonic energy on whoever wears it. In other words, it doesn't lift curses, it just blocks their effects. If we had my grandfather's blue on it, that would do the job for sure. Oh yeah, Grandpa told me about that once. An artifact, the power... Of that has the power to nullify evil energy completely, right? Yeah. If I borrow that before coming down here, I think we'd be set. But when the wing demons started attacking, he he was using it to shore up the shrine's defenses. That makes sense. Too bad. I guess. Would've been nice if it were that way. Well, you'll think of something, don't worry. The sorcerer is all brainstorming possible ways. So a good idea is bound to come out sooner or later. Yeah, you're probably right. Good luck. I hear you show showed the enemy sources thing too about what the Knights of East are capable of. Way to go, Unica. I look forward to fighting by your side in the future. Please don't hesitate to use your Leo shell to contact me. Kadena caught to me a short while ago. She spoke of a door that can only open with one of demonic nature. Wonder if there's some way to make the door open to mistake us for a demon. Well, we have the ring, but we need to power the ring. I don't know how to power the ring. So that's something to figure out. So... For now, I'm going to save. We're going to move on to the next episode. So next episode, we figure out how to power a ring. So until then, I've been Mr. Mark 2. This has been Yeast Origin. Have a wonderful day.